So we have a uh, pedestal sink okay. that uh, my wife dropped an earring down the uh, drain one day. I was able to get it out, but uh, in the process, had to take the stopper out, and since then I've been trying to get it back in, and it, it, it wouldn't latch. All right, so that's called the pop-up assembly, so the linkage might be broken down in there. We also wanted to uh, change out the faucet. We had a new one that we bought uh, when we moved in the house, and I called a couple plumbers, but no one's really gotten back to us about that. You know... Plumbers and pedestals have a love-hate relationship. You know, we've grown bigger and the pedestals are still pretty small, yeah. so I can understand it, actually. <laughs> but right. now, if I was going to just change your faucet only, mm -hmm. we could do that pretty straightforwardly with just a basin wrench underneath and we wouldn't have to pull the sink out. But because okay. we're doing the drain, too, it means that whole pedestal is going to come off the wall, so I could use your help there. I can help you. All yeah. right, let me grab some tools. All right, great. Thanks. <laughs> Gonna turn the water off first. The cold. Hopefully the the shutoffs hold. Now the hot. Uh, we're gonna test and see if they hold. That's a good sign. All right. So now I'm gonna break these two flexible supplies, but they have a little bit of water in them. So I want to catch the water so it doesn't drip down on the floor. You know, with that faucet open at the top, it's like breaking the vacuum. Yeah. And these are knurled nuts. So I'm gonna use pliers. Here, just a little bit of water. All right, so that's the hot. All right, so a pedestal sink actually has two pieces. One is this upper basin, and then the pedestal leg right here. And the upper basin really is like a wall-hung sink. Okay. If you look underneath, you can see there's two bolts that secure the thing right back into the wall. Okay, gotcha. So what I'm gonna do is loosen them, but before I do, if you look here, you can see that the sink has been caulked into the wall and then painted against it. So I don't want, when we move this thing, to blow this wall apart from a gotcha. caulking standpoint. So I'm just going to score it with a razor knife. All right, so now I'm just going to go after those bolts with a box wrench. That one's pretty loose. All right, so both of those nuts are off. So now there's one more connection to be made, and that's the drain connection right here. So what I want you to do, Rob, is okay. to come in. Yep. Just step right in front of me. I want you to try to lift this basin up carefully. Now be careful of the wall where that paint is, right? Okay. Yep. Just try it. Now lift it up a little bit. Okay, good. So now that's exposed. There you go. You, and I've got the weight of it, and I put the pedestal back. Now it's released this nut. You see the nut right here? So I can loosen this. Okay. Okay. All right, so now we've loosened all the connections. The only thing that remains is the caulking that is holding it to the wall, and I don't want to blow that wall out. So, you got your putty knife? I do, yeah. Try to drive the putty knife down. I'm going to try to pull the sink off the wall. There we go. Come over here. A little bit. See, yeah. Yeah, see it? I got you. Beauty. I don't get in trouble with the owner. All right, let's see if we can. There we go. Hey, look, old wallpaper. Old wallpaper. <laughs> I just set it down. A little more space to work out here. Yep. All right, so we know what it looks like right here with our hot, cold, and our spout and our drain. But it's backstage that I want you to understand the parts and pieces of a lavatory like this. We got hot and cold supply that came up from the shutoffs. It comes up to these stem units, the bottom of these stem units. They're the handles on the inside. Yep. So when you open or close the hot or the cold, you see what happens? It actually comes in through these flexible supplies that come to this center point. So if you open hot, hot and cold, it'd come to the center point and go up through and out to the spout. Gotcha. Okay, pretty straightforward. Yep. On the drain side, this is called a pop-up assembly. And it has a nut that you tighten up to compress and make a watertight seal. But what people don't realize is a built-in overflow in any sink. And so now if that stopper was ever closed and the water rose, the water would still come down inside the china and come down to the drain, not overflow. Every pop-up assembly should have some linkage like this that has a series of parts and pieces you have to adjust. And what that action does is to lift and move that stopper. So looking at yours, look at this. So that part should be much longer, and that's the part that should lift and drop the stopper. So that's completely gone. Okay. All right, so now it's time for us to strip this all away and get started with a new installation. Just hold that, let me grab yep. a tool. Okay. Just grab that. Okay, good. This might be why that plumber didn't call you back. 
All right, so here are the parts and pieces of your new faucet. A lot of similarities, but they made some changes too. Okay. So we still have the spout in the middle, we still have the two stem units. And now they came together. Remember the old one, they curled around, they had all these nuts we had to make up right mm -hmm. here? Look at it now. Because everything's being done by DIY, or trying to make it user-friendly for install. Look at this, color-coded. Green to green, and then this is blue to blue. That's cold. Of course. <laughs> Can I, can I guess what the other one is? is that <laughs> oh, one? Would that be so hot? Smart. You're almost a plumber now. <laughs> we have the same issue though. We got to get any of the faucet parts down through this opening, the three openings here, so it can be no wider than this. So it has to be get skinny to get down through, so that that'll pass through. Mm -hmm. Now remember before we had a big nut and we had to get the basin wrench up in there. Oh yeah. Now it's diff completely different. This thing fits on from underneath and comes up to this thread. Now they provide an installation tool with it. That just comes here onto the bottom. And you'll be able to now tighten that up and actually get enough torque even by hand or with a little wrench to snug it up enough. Okay. Okay. Cool. So installation's easier that way. Even on the water supply side, the standard supply for any lavatory in America is called a half inch female. Okay. And so they put these adapters on after the fact below the countertop level and then you can make it up. Okay. Okay. That's the water side. Makes sense. The drain side is probably one of the coolest things. Remember all that linkage, which was a pain in the oh, neck yeah. to deal with? Yep. No linkage. This is what you see. Okay. You want to stop the drain, push it down. When you don't want it to go down, open it up. Nice. Isn't that cool? And is that install just That's as it. simple That's as that? That's it. When you want to hold the drain, you do this, and when you don't, you want, so there's cool. no linkage and all that stuff. And you want, you want that little fulcrum thing that can break. Yeah. All right, yeah. so now we just reverse the procedure. We're going to now remount all these things to the, to the sink. Okay. <laughs> Hot and cold stems have a gasket, but the manufacturer recommends a little bit of putty here on the spout. Right. Just hold that for a minute. Let me get it snugged up. Okay, you should see it's squeeze out a little yep. bit. Mm -hmm. Blue snaps right in, and then it's made. Snug this nut up. I want you to now put this down level and go right onto those posts, but I want you to drop it. See this right here? We're going to drop it down into the drain. Okay. Now put it on the two, two bolts. Let me, you can tell by the markings on the wall. Yep, okay. they're on. You We're hold on. it freestyle right there. I got you. Okay, and I'm going to make up this nut and gasket. This is an inch and a half by inch and a quarter nut and gasket. Okay, hold on. Now I'm going to snug this up. And then I'm going to ask you to lift up that sink just enough for me to move that pedestal leg back in. Okay. 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 And now when we get the leg in position, just drop it back down. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So now we're back. So now we just have to reconnect those nuts to the legs. Good. All right, these are quarter turn handles, full on, closed. There's a gasket. There's a little Allen screw at the back side right here. Okay, and we just make up this Allen. All right, water is back on and the homeowner always gets the honors. Look at that. Try the hot. Ah, beautiful. Good. I like your choice in faucets. It's a clean, beautiful look, the nice widespread. And this is so cool. Look at this. Try running it now. Mm -hmm. and when you're done, boom. And if your wife ever dropped an earring again, look how easy it is to take it apart. You could go retrieve it and pull it, try to pull it back out. Oh, nice. Isn't that cool? All right, you enjoy. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much. Good. Good. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.